I'm going to tell you how to get the Homebrew channel and how to hack games on the Wii without a computer and without a USB. So you're going to need a tablet or a phone or something that could have micro SD cards in it. Like right there, you could open it up. And you're going to also need a micro SD card adapter. And what this does is your micro SD card goes in here and then can fit in the Wii because the small one can't. So what you're going to need to do is you need to go to this website pleasehackme.com and then you go to your Wii and you go to the Wii options and the Wii settings then you go to internet and then you go to console information and then your Mac address you type it in there's gonna be one two 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 numbers and letters, whatever, and then you put it right in here. Mm. Yeah, and you just put it right in there, and once you do that, then wait. Okay, okay, I found it. You need a, when you're right here, the first one. You need to see what version yours is, and then you could push that version. Okay, so once you put put your MAC address in there, then you're going... Wait. Okay, as you can see, I put mine in there. And then you're going to do this. You're going to make sure you tell this that you're not a robot. And then once you're done, you could select cut the red wire or cut the blue wire. I'm just gonna cut the red wire because it's right there. And then it should download right there is letterbomb.zip. So now what you're gonna need to do um, is you're gonna, well, it would be best if you had this app. It is ES File Explorer. And you're gonna, cause you could open zips and then you're gonna open it. And then what you're going to do is, okay, I had to look at that real quick here, so once you open it, um, you're going to select all of them, I guess, and then you're going to push extract, and then just push OK, and then it should be saved right here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take these and copy all these. All of them. <laughs> Push copy, and then you're going to paste them in your SD card, just just right here. I'm just gonna push paste. Now it's right there, and now you unmount your micro SD card. And then you can take it out. And then you put it in your micro SD card adapter, which you could buy at stores or online. Mine's kind of broken, that's why I should really get a new one. And you just fit it in the Wii. And then you go, I believe you go here. And then some, I don't know, sometime, yeah, sometime either ahead or behind, it's gonna show up, but it showed up ahead, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. And then, wait, uh, how do you, there you go. What? Okay, there we go. So you're gonna do all that. You're gonna... I believe I could reinstall this perfectly without it harming anything. So you need to wait for this.
So now what you're gonna do, it's kind of kind of hard to see. You're gonna push it says continue, you're gonna press A on continue. Then you're gonna go up to install homebrew channel. Then you're gonna do that and then press yes continue. And it'll install it for you. And then select continue and then exit. Exit. And now you should have the homebrew channel. It should exit to the homebrew channel. And I already have apps on it, but if you but you're not gonna have apps on it. So I'm just gonna show you how to get apps on it. So you're gonna take your SD card back out. And the homebrew channel should show up wherever. And you're gonna need to go to web a website. You can put your SD card back in. And you're gonna go to this website right here. It's webrew.org. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the left side and go to applications. And the game I have that I hack, or I'm going to hack, or I already hack, is called Do Black Ops. And then you look for Cheap Manager right here. And then you should be looking like this, and you're going to go to the right side where it says Links, and you're going to push Download. And download it. That should download. Right there. And you're also going to look for Gecko. That should Gecko OS. The same thing. It's gonna look like this. You're gonna push download. And it should download. Once you have those two downloaded. You're gonna go to your EOS file explorer. And then you're gonna make a folder called apps. You're gonna make a folder called codes. And you're gonna make a folder called txt codes. And so what you're gonna do is yours is gonna be empty. It's not gonna have any apps in it. And your codes is gonna be empty. And your txt codes is gonna be empty. So what you're gonna need to do is you're just gonna make a folder called apps, codes, and txt codes. And the root of your SD card See, as I go to my SD card, it's just this, and you make it right here, and you push new, and then folder, and then make them called that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your internal storage, you're going to go to download, and you're going to click on one of these, you're click on the Gecko 1931, and then this one's kind of hard, I don't know why they did it, they? then you're going to push to this one, and this one, then HBC, then this one, and you should see all this. Now you're gonna hold this one down. The one that you pushed, HBC. You're gonna hold it down, then you're gonna push extract, and press OK. Next out of it, and then you should see here, instead of the zip, it's this one. Not that one, it's this one. Then you're gonna push it and push it again, push it again, push it again, that one. Okay, so once you see this, then you're just going to hit back, and then you're going to take this, and you're going to copy it, or move it, and I'm going to move it, and as you can see here, I'm moving it to my SD card, and you put it in the apps folder, and as you can see, I already have it right there, see it's just right there, so I'm not going to move it there, and you're going to do the same thing with the cheat manager and open it up and this one's to be this one's gonna be different it's gonna say apps and cheat manager then you're just gonna take the cheat manager push extract and push ok and then it's right here and then push apps and then you'll see this and copy the cheat manager or move it and then go to the apps and paste it or move it to the apps and I already have it right there once you've done that, 